Mount Fuji's summer climbing season began with new crowd control measures to combat over-tourism on the Japanese volcano's most popular track, an entry fee of 2,000 yen, that's approximately $13, plus an optional donation, is being charged for those taking on the Yoshida Trail, and numbers are capped at 4,000 per day. Online reservations have also been introduced this year by authorities concerned about safety and environmental damage on Japan's highest mountain. Record tourist crowds are flocking to Japan post-pandemic, with many wanting to see or scale Mount Fuji. The mount is covered in snow most of the year, but draws more than 220,000 visitors each July to September climbing period. Many trek through the night to see the sunrise from the 3,776-meter summit. Some sleep on the trail or start fires for heat, while others attempt to complete the hike without breaks, becoming sick or injured as a result. The once peaceful pilgrimage site has three other main routes that will remain free to climb. But the Yoshida Trail, accessed from Tokyo relatively easily, is the preferred option for most holiday makers, with around 60% of climbers choosing that route. Each summer, reports in Japanese media describe tourists climbing Mount Fuji with insufficient mountaineering equipment. Governor Kotaro Nagasaki of Yamanashi Prefecture says the new measures were introduced first and foremost to protect lives. In a reminder of the dangers, last week local media reported that four bodies were found near the summit. Monthly visitors to Japan exceeded 3 million for the first time in March and then again in April and May. The tourism chief has deemed the country's ambitious goal of attracting 60 million foreign tourists well within reach, having last year welcomed more than 25 million. Mount Fuji is about two hours from central Tokyo by train and can be seen for miles around. The mountain is a symbol of Japan that has been immortalized in countless artworks, including Okusai's Great Wave.